So I'm just gonna go over the shoulder mount of a moose, which is you know, very similar to basically any other animal, but on a moose, especially here in the Yukon, we're talking the size is the difference. We're looking at a shoulder mount on this one, and we're also gonna take a little bit of the hide off the back, and we'll get that tan separately, but Jason's gonna take, take the shoulder and he's gonna have that mounted. So we'll just go over how we go about doing it, how I start it. So I always take, take a cut from the base of the horn or the antler and in a V down both sides to the middle. And this will be kind of the top of the head. And then what I'll do is I'll take a straight line all the way back. And I like to always take more hide than not enough because <laughs> if you don't have enough, I can always run into problems. So on a moose, it's a big chunk of, chunk of hide. So I usually take it right back to well beyond, well beyond the shoulder, kind of about here. And in this case, because we want to keep this hide as much of it as we possibly can, I'm going to try not to take too much, but try to get it about perfect. So I think that I always look down, probably about, about right here would be about perfect to get that full shoulder mount. If you wanted to, you know, put a turn in it or whatever you want to do with it, you've got all kinds of hide to work with. Once you do that, you pull the leg out and then basically what I'll do is I'll take, I'll take a cut right around the elbow on the lower side of the elbow and then a cut it'll come right down here into the armpit and then straight down and i'll meet this cut here and it looks something like that and then you just peel it all back i take gotta take the time to get around the base of the horns and try to use all horn get as little amount of hair in there as you can. And then it's a matter of just peeling it back, you know, making sure that when you peel back, it's not so such a big deal on moose because they're huge. But if you're looking at a smaller animal, you know, you want to get really, really tight to the head to make sure that you don't, uh, you know, you don't put a hole underneath the ear. Same thing, take the same care, whether it's a moose or it's a sheep or whether it's a really thin skin animal. The more time you take here to do it right, the better the mount's gonna turn out. And it's just that simple. Just a matter of taking your time and not rushing your way through it and doing it right to give yourself the best mount that you can.